Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeb Bradley, and I chair the Senate Rules and Enrolled Bills Committee. Today, we are having a regular meeting of the Senate Rules and Enrolled Bills Committee for purpose of reviewing the consolidation of bills by the select committee that was appointed by Senator Morse. The members of that committee are myself, Senator Soucy, Senator Rosenwald, and Senator Carson. Before we get started, I will read through a checklist to ensure that the meeting that we are holding right now is in compliance with the right to know law. As chair of the Senate Rules and Enrolled Bills Committee, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by the governor as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and in accordance with the governor's emergency order number 12, pursuant to executive order 2020-04 and its extensions, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. Please note there is no physical location to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting, which was authorized pursuant to the governor's emergency order. In accordance with the emergency order, I am confirming that one, we are providing public access to the meeting by telephone with additional access possible by video and other electronic means. We're utilizing Zoom for this electronic meeting. All members of the committee and selected legislative staff have the ability to communicate contemporaneously in this meeting through this platform and the public has access to contemporaneously watch and or listen to the meeting on Zoom or YouTube and via phone by following the directions and links provided on the General Court website. Two, we have provided public notice of the necessary information for accessing this meeting in the Senate calendar. Three, we are providing a mechanism for the public to alert the public body during the meeting if there are problems with access. If anyone has a problem, please email <laughs> remote, <clears throat> remote Senate. <clears throat> that's, <clears throat> excuse me, R-E-M-O-T-E-S-E-N-A-T-E -E at L-E-G dot state, S-T-A-T-E dot N-H dot U-S or call 603-271-6931. In the event the public is unable to access the meeting will be adjourned and rescheduled. Please note, all votes taken during this meeting shall be done by a roll call vote. Finally, please start the meeting by taking a roll call attendance. When each member states their presence, please also state where they are and if anyone else is in the room with you during the meeting, which is required under the right to know law. So we'll begin now. We're all set, Senator. All right, uh, <laughs> Senator Kevin Avard. Here. And you are? I'm Senator Kevin Avard, District 12. Okay. Uh, you need to state um, where you are, Senator, and if there's anybody in the room with you. Oh, I apologize. I, I'm, uh, I'm at home, 57 Cherry Ann Ave, in my office, and the only one here is my puppy. <laughs> Senator Daniels. Uh, Senator Gary Daniels, I'm in my home office in Milford. No one is in the room. Senator Carson. Good morning, Chair Mr. Chairman. Oh, this is Senator Sharon Carson. I am at my home in Londonderry, and I am alone. Senator Susi. Good morning. This is Senator Donna Susi. I am in Manchester at my home, and I am alone. Senator Rosenwald. Good morning, this is Senator Cindy Rosenwald. I'm at my home in Nashua and I am alone in the room. And I'm Senator Jeb Bradley and I am alone at this moment um, in our condo in Marco Island, Florida. Senator, if you could just hold for one minute. Um, Josh is hearing that some folks are having a little trouble getting in. So we may just need a minute to resolve that. 
I'm going to touch base with him. Okay. I can see the attendees on. How are you, Senator Susie? I'm well, how are you? Good, I like your tree in the background. Thank <laughs> you, I thought it would be a little festive touch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I saw that and I'm like, wow, that's beautiful, Donna. Okay. So is everybody ready for the holidays? Yeah, almost. 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 I think everybody is uh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> it just seemed it came so fast this year. So just a lot of wrapping. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. That's not my favorite thing to do. No. So. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get it done. And then my adult children like to send me their gifts from Amazon so that I can wrap them for like Grammy and everybody else. You know? <laughs> oh, so you get double duty then. Right. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. So I would just say that we're waiting another minute or two, um, just making sure that all the panelists of the Rules Committee are on and staff, but we want to make sure anybody who wants to participate remotely as an attendee also has that opportunity. So when Sonia or um, Trish tell me that we're good to go, we'll begin. We are live on YouTube, so anybody that is trying and cannot access, they can go on to the YouTube link, which is in the Senate calendar. What do you want, Charles? Uh, my cat decided to come up and visit me, so <laughs> he's just sitting here wondering what's going on. Well, let's see it. Let's see the cat. <laughs> I don't know if he'll come over. He's over on the other side. My daughter came home uh, yesterday and uh, she brought her cat with her, with her. So we're having a little bit of a kitty standoff <laughs> between the two of them. The other one's a little confused because he's someplace and new and this one's trying to defend his territory. So It'll be interesting. As long as they stay away from the Christmas tree, I'm good. Uh, we have one of those. You have a kitty too, Gary? I mean, I'm sorry, Kevin? Yeah, Kevin, uh, our, our, our cat died. She was 16 years old. And the same day, Kevin was driving up the road. And he, uh, he saw this little kitty in the middle of the road. And so he decided to take it home. Well, she's very vocal and she's not fixed. Oh, and okay. So that's okay. You did no, you're doing a good not. thing. <laughs> no, you're doing a good thing. Uh, Ralph, our cat, is usually pretty vocal. He's 18. Oh, yeah. so yeah, he likes to announce his presence wherever he goes. So this one does that's too. okay. I, I love her, but she's just very vocal. And first, thing I, before my coffee, I don't need to. to uh, the oh, serenade. Come on. <laughs> that's okay. I've got the two dogs here and. At some point, they might jump up on my lap because they want to see what's going on. So you'll see a dog face in the, <laughs> in the camera. We are Life and animals is always fun. Trish, it's always fun. Sonia. I, sorry, um, we resolved one issue. Um, we're checking on one more person, um, and it's a senator. So if you could just give us one more minute. Oh, that wow. would be cool. right. I think it's new to a lot of people right now, you know? <laughs> it's new to a lot of us, even though we've done it a bunch of times. Right. So, Well, and it was in the spring, so it feels like it was so long ago that we had um, committee meetings for some of us, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, just watching. <clears throat> Okay, I think, is that good, Sonia? Okay, Senator, you can begin. Okay. Um, thank you again, and sorry for the delay. I've gone through the uh, right to know script um, previously, so I don't need to repeat that. But let me um, really start out by thanking uh, all of the senators who cooperated with myself, Senator Susie Carson, and Rosenwald over the last few days to put the package together that I think Josh is going to put up on the screen for everybody to view. Um, without your cooperation, this would not have been possible. And so thank you very much. I also want to thank, obviously, Josh and Grant and Marina um, for their hard work over the last few days and this morning. Uh, to Sonia and Trish for making this meeting possible. Without the tremendous uh, hard work by all our staff, um, this would also not have been possible. So um, as soon as Josh is able to load up the um, document that we're working on, uh, I would note that there are approximately 250 bills that um, are part of that document. A number of them obviously are standalone bills, and then the rest have been grouped. Uh, we are still awaiting some 40 to perhaps as many as 45 confidential bills that um, sponsors, if they want their bills to be dealt with in this fashion of consolidation, um, it will be very important over the next couple of days to um, release the confidentiality designation on those bills. And for Republicans, please do that through Josh. I think Democrat um, senators, please do that through uh, Marina. And then we can uh, move forward with that. So what we have done over the last few days, and I think um, Senators Susie Rosenwald and Carson may want to chime in on this in a moment, is... Um, to try, based on the titles that we have, and really that's about all that we have at this point, to consolidate bills into um, categories that can facilitate public hearings via this process as um, virtually all legislative activity is going to be conducted remotely, at least um, over the course of the next month or two. Um, this, in my opinion, and I think in the opinion of uh, the other three senators that worked on this, will help work on um, being able to have a smooth process. Um, last spring, uh, Senator Susi and I, uh, along with Josh and others, did exactly the same thing. I think it worked um, pretty well, and we were able to pass a lot of good legislation last year. It's a different process. Um, it bears repeating that we need to learn from the process so that we administer it as smoothly as possible. But I think that um, we found over the last few days with the cooperation of all 20 of our colleagues that it's been a pretty remarkable process. Um, we obviously are not going to agree on the content of every piece of legislation, but I think that um, we've tried to be as fair um, and inclusive and hopefully as transparent as possible in um, how we've done this. Any sponsor that wanted his or her bill to be a standalone bill, in other words, it would go through the hearing process in the normal function, obviously remotely, uh, we have, as we indicated on organization day, um, made sure that those have been standalone bills. And I believe that based on 
the conversations that went on um, over the weekend that we have reflected all of the changes that any senator wanted us to make. There's been some question as to how the consolidated bills will be listed for sponsorship. And as you can see from the documents that have been um, emailed to everybody, the four of us decided that probably the easiest way at this point was to designate a sponsor. We've talked to all 20 of the, our colleagues about that process. And to date, I think everybody has agreed on it. We are working with the Office of Legislative Services to try and find a way to make sure that every sponsor gets his or her credit listed in the bill. It's not as easy as it would sound, and so we're trying to work through that. However, the uh, Senate clerk, Tammy, has indicated that in the permanent journal, um, every bill that was sponsored by an individual senator that was consolidated will be listed as sponsored and co-sponsored by that individual senator so that it is known to each and every one of us as well as to the public as to um, what we did. So um, at this point, I am gonna recognize Senator Susi. If you wanna say a few words, Senator Susi, and then I wanna go through the changes uh, that have occurred since Friday, just so that they're all highlighted. Senator Susi and obviously Senator Rosenwald and Carson, if you wanna add anything in at this point, okay. go ahead. I, I just wanna say thanks to the other three members of the select committee. I do think the process went very smoothly. Um, I would note that this time around the groupings or uh, couplings of bills are a little bit smaller uh, than they were in the spring. <laughs> and I think that will make the process a little bit easier. But I think by and large, by doing this, we will have um, a process that's more efficient that will not only save some time, but that will allow us to really focus in on the critical needs of, of everyone here in the state. So I'm, I'm pleased with the process. I think we're gonna have to continue to work at it a bit um, and to also ensure uh, other ways that people get recognition for the individual portions of legislation that they sponsored. But by and large, I think this is a good process and I hope everyone is comfortable with it. Senator Rosenwald, Senator Carson. Thank you. I'd just like to echo my thanks um, for the really great collaboration last week and over the weekend. And just to add that I'm, I'm pleased we were also able to note when combinations or standalone bills also needed to be expedited through the process for one reason or another. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, again, uh, just re-echo what others have said. This was a very interesting process to look at all these bills by title only and try to figure out where they would best, um, best the best place for them to be was. So on that note, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, am I allowed at this point to make a motion? I can uh, just ask you to hold on for one okay. second. I want to go through there are nine changes that happened since the document was mm -hmm. sent around to every senator on friday so i don't know josh if you can put that up on the screen the final document there we go i, I just have to say um it's miraculous what uh we're able to do and and josh grant marina did a really fantastic job i just want to give them a shout out. So the nine changes. Um, the first one, Senator Daniels asked that LSR 918 be moved to the agency request. You'll find that at the bottom of page one. Um, and it is number 15. Um, on page 11, Senator Whitley asked her LSR 864 be moved to a standalone category. And um, that has been reflected 
on page 11 and Josh has it highlighted. And that's also designated as an expedited. Just, um, there were a number of senators that talked to us. I mean, Senator Sherman made the case at organization day for a bill of his that deals with the PDA that has to be adopted by the 1st of April. So we've tried to designate them as bills that need to be expedited for various reasons. It could be something like Senator Sherman's bill, could be a COVID bill. Um, so we're um, well aware of that. You can see in column H that designation. Um, on page 12, another standalone bill of Senator Rosenwald's LSR 967. Senator Rosenwald um, suggested that it not be expedited because of the fact that it wasn't as time sensitive as we first thought. Uh, the fourth change on page three, Josh, is uh, Senator Waters bill 351. It's a commission bill. We had been under the understanding that um, that bill was going to be withdrawn. We were mistaken in that. Senator Waters uh, wants the bill to proceed, so it has been listed on page three. On page four, um, Senator Waters' bill uh, that deals with outdoor education. Um, Senator Waters, in reviewing what we had recommended, felt that it would be better combined with education bills, not environment bills, and that's on page four reflected there. On page five, Senator Perkins Coca asked that LSRs <laughs> 1045 um, be categorized as environment, and that's on page five, and we have uh, done that. On page 11, another standalone bill. We had included Senator Sherman's bill that deals with an election law issue in election law bills, Senator Sherman requested that be a standalone um, bill. And it's reflected on page 11 as a standalone bill. <clears throat> um, on page three, we put an expedited um, status on all of the COVID package that is highlighted um, on page three. <clears throat> I think there were four or five bills in that um, section, and they are all in a deep purple. And then on page nine, um, Senator Birdsell had asked for a bill, LSR 326, to be withdrawn. And I think that is reflective on page nine of the fact that that bill has been withdrawn. <clears throat> so those are the changes that were made to the document that all the senators received on Friday afternoon. Um, so I, I believe, and Senator Susi, Senator Rosenwald, Senator Carson, or Josh or Marina, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe those are all the changes that we got that were reflected in the document that you see on the screen in front of you. To my knowledge, that's correct. That's everything we have received to date. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I would add that we'll probably go through this process again um, with the 40 or so remaining confidential bills. Um, Josh is, you know, discussing that with the Office of Legislative Services to determine when the process will work the best, whether it's next week to do this again or that first week in January before our session on the 6th to do it then. Um, I think the four of us with staff have gotten a way to do this fairly well. So the next process should be a lot easier and shorter, but I, I would stress again that confidential bills in order to participate in any consolidation have to be um, withdrawn from confidential status so we know what the titles are and then we can proceed. If not, um, when the bills are signed off on, they'll 
I would think pretty much automatically go into a standalone status. Anybody else have anything to add before I recognize Senator Carson? Are there any questions from any senators that may be uh, on the call, but not on the rules committee? Right now, I can't see on my screen if anybody has their hands up, so. Senator so. Bradley, should we let people know we will be meeting again um, relatively soon? Will that yeah, be before I, I January 6th that, that, that we meet to consider? Either next week or the first week of January, um, based on what OLS tells us that they need for a timeline. Senator Bradley, at that yes. next meeting, if there are requests from anywhere for late filings, would those be appropriate at the next the next um, time we meet? You know, I think that uh, there will be late filings. I, I've already been approached um, by an entity that needed a late filing. So why don't we say, I think it's a good suggestion by you and Senator Susi that the next meeting of the Rules Committee, whether it's next week or the week right before um, uh, our session, that we will take up any late filing of bills. Thank but you. I think Senator Susi would agree on this. We should try to be judicious in yeah. how many more bills we do late filing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. Okay, uh, I'll recognize Senator Carson for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. I'd like to move that we adopt this bill consolidation document. Second. So the motion has been made by Senator Carson to adopt the bill consolidation document that Josh has or had on the screen. Um, is there any discussion of that? And that document, just for the record, um, was labeled as of 10 o'clock uh, last night, 1220, and he's put it back up on the screen. Um, so that would be the document that we're voting on, and, and I just want to make sure that the minutes reflect that. Is there any further discussion? Okay, seeing none, um, I will call. I will call the roll. Uh, Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Susi votes yes. Senator Rosenwald. Senator Rosenwald votes yes. Uh, Senator Carson. Senator Carson votes yes. Uh, Senator Avard. Yes. And Senator Daniels. Senator Daniels, yes. And I, um, Senator Bradley, also vote yes. So the motion passes six <laughs> to zero. So at this point, um, that document, Josh will work with the Office of Legislative Services. Um, I think the ad hoc committee, we can have a discussion based on Senator Susi's idea that we meet either next week or the following week right before um, our session. We'll take up any late bill requests and we'll also take up um, the 40 or so confidential bills that are still out there assuming sponsors have released the confidentiality designation. Senator Bradley, may I ask the document that we have just approved, will that be made public? Will that be on our website or on the OLS website for the public to uh, see what we've point. just um, Josh, can you uh, make sure that that gets on the Senate website? Yes, I can, Senator. Thank you. 
And uh, I would ask that, Josh, if you could send it to all 24 senators, um, maybe just change the uh, designation on the line number one and just say, as approved by the Rules Committee on 1221. Yep, I'll take care of that and send it out as soon as we're done here. Okay. Senator Bradley, Senator Daniels, uh, just a question is who will be determining how the hearings on these will be taking place? For instance, on the first group, we have 12 bills in there. Uh, will the process be that we will be setting a particular time for that section of the bill in which people can testify? Or is it going to be that people come in and just sign up and you're taking them in order and we're gonna be jumping around? So, um, now that this process is completed, myself, um, Josh, I think probably Senator Susi may want to be involved in this too. Um, I think we need to develop a sort of a guideline for the chairs of committees as to, um, you know, the best process to be used. Um, we've done, we did this to a certain extent last spring, but I think having a document in front of everybody, um, you know, running a committee would be helpful. And now that we're done this process, we can develop that set of guidelines. My understanding is that everything will be done remotely, you know, in at least in January and probably somewhat longer. Um, so we'll need to be able to conduct hearings and have those kind of guidelines. Thank you. Anything else? Then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the rules committee. So moved. So moved. Senator Susi has moved adjournment, seconded by Senator Daniels. Senator Daniels. I think we need to call the roll on this mm -hmm. too. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so we'll start with uh, Senator Avard. Motion to adjourn. Senator Avard, yes. Senator Daniels. Senator Daniels, yes. Senator Carson. Senator Carson, yes. Senator Rosenwald. Senator Rosenwald, yes. Senator Susi. Senator Susi, yes. And I vote yes too. So thank you, everybody. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. And a very Christmas. Christmas. Great holiday. Have a Merry thank Christmas, you. everyone.